go. Okay guys, so here's the kit. It's just a, a tin kit with a, got a sticker on here, survivethewild.us, and uh, two feet of electrical tape wrapped around it. Let's get it opened up so we can see what's inside of it. There you go. So you can see all the items are in there, nice. It's not popping open, it's not busting open, it's not busting the hinges. Let me just get this laid out so I don't screw it all up. Okay. So approximately two feet of electrical tape. This is a foot of duct tape. What I do is I, I, I four times three inches. Um, and then they're they're layered over each other like like a normal duct tape roll would lay um, so that they actually peel off easily um, Cotton balls Six of them for starting tinder and they also keep the items packed in there, you know pretty well Here's the, the mini survival LED light. It's got you know two pad two batteries um, It has a, a squeeze on and it also, you can pull it back and lock it on like that. So you can put it in your mouth and, uh, and walk around with it, you know, fairly easily if you need to. Okay. That's 10 feet of snare wire. I think it's, uh, what is it, 0 0.38, 0 0.38 milliliters or something, mil millimeters or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. I'll, I'll have it up on the, on the, on the site, um, exactly the specs. That's uh fishing line, I think that's the twenty the that's the fifteen pound test. That's the twenty five pound test. Um, let's see, so ten feet of the twenty five pound test and fifteen feet of the of the fifteen pound test. Uh salt and pepper. Salt's good for electrolytes and pepper's good for when you do have to eat some, you know, something nasty out in the woods that you don't really want to you know it's always good to have something out in the woods to eat uh, triple antibiotic ointment first aid and there you go catadine micropure mp1 is a, a full packet with two and full directions and everything right on the back like to see another kit with that in it these are wax coated strike anywhere matches. You can see they're they're triple dipped in wax, um, and then I also put tin foil around them, you know, just to keep them. You shouldn't use these. These are just absolute backup in in your kit. You want to use the fire steel um, first. Keep these for if you lose your fire steel, you know. There's a nylon sewing thread, MP3 can opener, um, which can be used for a can opener, and also a, also a striker for the uh, P38 or P38 can opener. Sorry, um, it can be used for a, a striker for the fire steel, which is right here. It's just simply a rod, three sixteenths by two and a half inches. So, got good fire starting stuff there. Rubber band just for Impro improvising if you need it 18 millimeter oil filled compass freely floating so uh, see the chicken bullion right there it's great to have try to get a little bit of everything in here you know first aid the necessities a little bit of creature com creature comforts uh, straight razor blade Now this is this is a uh, twine, and you can use it for making natural wicks with oils that you can find, uh, fats, sap, um, anything like that. Just basically for improvising, but specific for myself, I'd use them for candle wicks, natural candle wicks. That's a trick birthday candle for starting fire in the wind, so you don't have to you know you don't have to keep wasting your matches and stuff. Very useful. One tea light. 
And when this burns out, when the tea light runs out, um, you can use this to, to, to put sap in and liquefy sap and burn that like a, uh, use that as a fuel source too. Um, and I just put the fish hooks in here because it was an easy place to make sure they didn't like puncture the, you know, puncture the condom, your water carrier, you know, or anything. Um, and there's two number sixes and two number eights. And they, they, they all have the, the bait holder little burrs on them too. Um, let's see. So two large paper clips, you know, for improvising. If you happen to have a, a flashlight on you or something, you know, you can use this to bridge the batteries and make, you know, make fire or something like that. Sure. Uh, two safety pins. Uh, one's larger than the other, but not a lot. Not a not a huge one, but two reusable split shot fishing weights for your line. One lubricated condom. Let's see. Can barely get that tinfoil out of the bottom. That's two square feet of tinfoil. And then we also got, these are two little cotton wicks that you can use. And then also in here, I'm not gonna pull them out, but there's uh, the two safety pins, and actually there happens to be three in here. Uh, yeah, two sewing pins. And then a large sewing needle, and then a small sewing needle. And then also, the tin as well, which you can use for uh, making char cloth if you need to, or you know, some people say boil water. I mean, you could, but um, anyways, that's the kit. I'll be selling them for twenty four ninety five, which is a very fair price. Um, I aim to make it the best kit on the market, and I hope that uh, I hope that I achieve the goal in everyone else's view. Okay, guys, um, have a good one, and uh, visit the site. It's getting better every day. You know, more more blog entries. You can RSS feed to the blogs. Um, we got, you know, forums, and there's a new cart going up soon. It'll probably be up by the time this video is up um, so that the product can be in, in the new cart. Um, more products going up every day, and uh, we have a, a couple other custom STW products that we've been working real hard on uh, to, to give people, you know, good, solid products that, you know, they can... They can put their life on, you know. Um, anyways, have a good one.